Rearrange that. It's the first time we have to actually rearrange the line equation. So number one, step number one, rearrange the line equation. So we write down the line equation. So x plus y is equal to four. Uh, in this case, we're just going to leave x on its own on the left hand side. And what does that mean? Moving the y across. So move the plus y across and it becomes minus y. Now, have we got either x or y on its own? We do. So that's it, rearranged. That's all. That's all you have to do. Alright, so we're on to step two. So step two, place or put line equation into circle equation. So we write down the circle equation again. And what do we do? Where we see x, we put in. Where we see x, we put in 4 minus x. 4 minus y, sorry. Square. Alright, then again, we do it again. Rough work over here. 4 minus y times 4 plus. 4 minus y. So break up the first bracket, so it's 4 times the second bracket. And minus y times the second bracket. 4, 4, 16. 4 times minus y is minus 4y. Minus y times 4. Minus y times minus y. Minus times minus is a plus. Right, just to let you know, a question like this came up in the, in the mocks, in the leaving cert, so it's worth 10 marks out of 50. Sorry, 10 marks out of 25. All right, so it will come up next year. All right, so add what you can. So we've y squared first. Minus 4y, minus 4y is minus 8y, and plus 16. All right, so we'll replace Place this on the left hand side with, with this here. Sixteen. And we do the same thing as we did before. So I take the sixteen across the equals <coughs> and becomes minus sixteen. Now we add what we can, we've y squared plus y squared is 2y squared, we have minus 8y, 16, in this case 16 minus 16 is 0. Right, so here we can divide both sides by 2, can't we? <coughs> 8 divided by 2 is 4y. Right, what type, what type of quadratic equation was that? remember type 1 or 2 or 3 two. Oh, it's type 1 we decided it was type 1 all right so what can I take out of both sides y so y times what is y squared y times y that's a 4 so some can be written like that or it can be written like that so first of all, y is equal to zero, that's the first answer. And the second answer, y minus four is equal to zero, y is equal to four. Two y values. So that's step two then. And step three, go back and get your rearranged line equation. So my rearranged line equation was that, x is equal to four minus y. So put in your y value. Four minus zero is four. All right. And then over here, put in your y value. Over here. Y is four. All right, so my two coordinates. Over here, x is four. 
x is 4, y is 0. And on the right hand side, x is 0, and y is 4. So again, to give you an idea of what that looks like. So 4, 0 is there. And 0, 4 is there. And so circle looks something like that. And that's the line. That's the line equation there. And that's the circle equation. That's the circle. And that's the two points where they intersect, they cross each other.